Hi, this is Jen and thanks for joining me. Today I am creating 10 cards using the December 2019 uh, card kit by Simon Says Stamp and the name of the kit is known for the holidays. Um, and this kit is still available. I checked right before I am doing the voiceover on this and as of that point, it is still available. Um, the kit is super cute, but what really sold me on it was the stamp set. Um, it's really adorable. Um, so that's why I bought it. And, uh, so the kit comes with a blending brush, which I didn't end up using in this video, but it's always good to have, um, an extra one of those on hand. This is a six by six paper pad, mainly, um, uh, a black and white theme, pretty much there's plaids, um, uh, but pretty much black and white with some reds. And then there's this cool stencil, perfect for Christmas. And then you get three of the action wobblers, three envelopes. And I think these have a little bit of a kind of a metallic sheen almost. And then you get this cute little gnome die. And then this gorgeous six by eight stamp set, which is so, it's just so adorable. Those little characters are so cute. And then you get the six by six, kind of a little shiny piece of metallic silver paper. And then you get a white, a red, and a black sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Um, so that completes the contents of the kit. Like I said, it is still available. I've left a link in the description. Um, the first card I am using several stamps, the Ho Ho Ho, some of the, um, floor I don't know it's, it's not a floral um kind of like twigs they're, they're not twigs either you'll see um so I am trying to get this straight because I am stamping up this ho 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 as a present so I need them to be as straight as possible and it is something I struggle greatly with on every aspect of a card is cutting straight or getting things straight on the card. And so I put this little piece of sticky paper to hopefully uh, help guide me. Uh, and it did end up pretty straight, so it must have helped. And it also helps to have the um, acrylic block with the lines on it, because and especially if you have the um, a mat with the grid lines on it. It is very helpful to um, it line those both up and get things fairly straight. Um, I went ahead and I took a piece of the pattern paper and cut two small strips and put those on the left and the right side of the card. Um, I went ahead and heat embossed this with gold embossing powder and added some Nuvo crystal drops in um, a color that I don't. It's Ruby Slippers. Um, and that completes that card. Super simple, um, quick, but I think it's very kind of understated, I guess. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite cards. I went ahead and I made a mask uh, of a circle. So I just took one of my dies and my stash of the size that I wanted and um, centered that on the card. And then I grabbed these three uh, Catherine Pooler inks and I will be using the large tree stamp and the smaller tree stamp for this card. Um, the inks that I used for this are Lime Ricky, Grass Skirt, and Meant to Be. Um, and I'm just basically going around the card kind of random but not random, um, trying to fill in the space with these inks. So as you can see, I went ahead and I took the Lime Ricky and went around the four kind of diagonal corners. And then I'm taking that lighter color meant to be. And then now I'm taking grass skirt. And I'm using the larger tree stamp for this. And then I'll go ahead and grab that smaller one and kind of fill in the areas where I think it needs a little more of that um, to fill it in. And then my main image for this is the gnome that's just disguised as a tree. And I'm gonna use my um, alcohol markers. So I went ahead and pulled out this Finesse by Spectrum Noir. It's an alcohol friendly, um, a black ink. And I believe they have several other colors. I don't use it often, but I went ahead and grabbed it. And it 
worked just fine and um, it didn't smear or anything like that. It did exactly what a alcohol friendly um, ink is supposed to do. Um, the colors mainly on this are the base colors of pink and I did a little bit of red for the highlights and I also used a light brown for the highlights. Um, and I learned that from Christina Warner's video. She recently did a video and uh, had mentioned that brown is a good highlight when you are coloring with red and she is absolutely right. Um, I think it worked perfectly. Um, so that is the coloring for this video. I don't leave a lot of the coloring in just because it's a 10 cards um, a video and there is not a lot of time to squeeze that many cards in with a reasonable amount of time. So I've taken two of the sentiments from the stamp set, the Christmas. I've gone ahead and heat embossed that in black. Um, and then there's another stamp that says Merry Christmas. And I just masked off the Christmas portion so that it only says Merry. And here I'm going to go ahead and color in a little bit of an ombre Christmas in two different colors of green alcohol markers. Um, I went ahead and fussy cut out that image, that tree image that I um, had colored earlier. And I'm going to pull the masking tape off. And then that circle, I go ahead and take my Nouveau Glitter Gloss Clear and color in that circle so it's just so it's not just a plain background. And then I'm going to take my little um, wobble. And the way that I attach them is I put the one, one side it, hopefully you can see is like a hollow circle in the middle and that is the portion that I attach to whatever I'm having wobble <laughs> and then the other side of the wobble is more of a solid part and that's the part that goes against your card base or whatever you're attaching it to so I love this card I think it's super cute um, I love <laughs> I just love the action wobbles. I have a little pack of them and I don't use them for some reason, but it's just so adorable. Um, I went ahead and added some uh, sparklets gems to this card as well as some, they're kind of like puffy um, sequins. And that will complete that first card. Um, the second card is probably my least favorite. Um, it's just kind of plain and I don't think I really cared. I just wanted to make the card um, because what I do is I sketch out kind of my ideas for the cards and not that I can't change it. I just, um, I don't know. I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it for this card. So, but what I did was I took a piece of the red snowflake pattern paper and trimmed that up. And then I cut out the December 25th um, cut out from the six by six paper pad. And here I'm just making corners so that I could cut this into a tag shape. So I'm going ahead and mark that and then I've cut those corners and then I've just taken my hole punch to create a hole in the center. I have put some foam tape on the back of that. And I don't know why I did this, but I heat embossed the Merry Christmas stamped image on top of the tag. And then I take some black and white twine and just thread that through the hole and tie that off. And that will be attached to my card. And then I'm taking some Nouveau, I think it's a blizzard is the color. Snow blizzard, blizzard, snow, white blizzard. And that will complete that card. Super simple. Uh, there's a lot more that can be done with it. Uh, but. It's all good. I really love the red and white. Uh, it just looks so cool together. So for this next card, I'm gonna use the stencil and several pieces of the pattern paper. And the stencil that I'm using is this tree and I'm just taking a black fine line marker and tracing the tree out from the stencil. And then I'll go ahead and take my scissors and fussy cut that. And here I'm just trying to figure out the layout for my card. But I go ahead and attach the black piece of paper using my Red Top Fine Line glue. 
and I'll go ahead and adhere that. And then I'll go ahead and adhere that black um, kind of plaid paper to the top of that. Just layer that on top. And then for the tree, I went ahead and took my fine line glue again, and I am going to use this Rock Candy uh, Distress Glitter by Tim Holtz, which I've been using a lot letter, a lot letter, a lot letter, <laughs> a lot lately. There's no better time to use a glitter and sparkly stuff than Christmas. And that was blurry, so. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the Christmas sentiment again. Actually, this is two sentiments put together from the stamp set. And I used my embossing bag to prep the surface. And I am just going to take my Versamark and stamp that. And then I am using my super fine detail embossing powder from Ranger in white. So I'll go ahead and spread that on the card and then heat set that with my heat tool. And then here I'm making a little paper ribbon. So I just cut one of the um, a pattern paper pieces into a small strip. And all I did was make an oval and attach that together using my tape runner. And then I'm going to take a, another strip of the paper, which is a solid black, and just fold that over to secure the bow and to give it a bow center, I guess. Um, a super easy way to make a very easy bow for a card or an embellishment. So I'm just going to take that strip and fold that over. And then I will start adhering um, all of the pieces onto my card. And this isn't my favorite color palette, but I actually um, really like how this card turned out. So I'm using this strip of pattern paper and then I'll go ahead and layer another strip of pattern paper. This was left over I believe from the previous card or the card before that. And then I'll trim off the excess from the side and then I'm going to go ahead and pop up my tree. after I adhere my main panel to the card. I do prefer to use a tape runner to adhere my pieces, um, but as you can see for this card, I used my liquid glue and then I used the tape runner. The only bad thing about the tape runner is it doesn't give you a lot of wiggle room for getting the items on straight. Um, but I'm a little heavy handed with the liquid glue and I always hate for it to warp or I'm afraid it's going to warp, which is why I don't use it a lot for putting entire panels on cards. So I went ahead and attached the tree and again that is popped up with some foam tape. And then I'm just taking my tape runner and attaching the bow portion and that will complete that card. And then for the next card, I'm going to use a stencil again. And I am using some Catherine Poolers. And I have grabbed a piece of watercolor paper. The colors that I'm using for this card of ink is uh, Sangria, Pink Champagne, and Hot Tub. And I believe these are some, a few of the newest colors by Catherine Pooler. Um, so right now I'm just taking my paintbrush and taking the hot tub color and I'm going to make three of the trees on the top and three on the bottom and my purpose in doing this with the stencil is not to get a clear image um, as you can see um, I go ahead and I fill that image in so you can't really tell that it's a tree um, my original plan was to draw triangles all over the card and color that in with um, kind of watercolor those colors in and I didn't have a stencil um, plus I kind of wanted to try and use the contents of the kit for this card and so I just went ahead and kind of used that tree shape as a template 
instead of um, going and making a triangle or using a triangle stencil or coloring or um, doing it freehand, which I tr I tried and it didn't work out well for me. So, um, so here I'm just taking some of that hot tub and filling the color in so that you can't see so much that it's a tree. It just kind of looks like a watercolor wipe, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to take the small tree stamp and I'm going to take all of the colors and stamp them uh, right over where I had that watercolor piece. And so I ink up each stamp. So I, I stamp it three times. I ink it up twice. So um, I take the ink and stamp and I take the ink and stamp and then for the third one I just do second generation stamping so that it's a little bit lighter um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take some of the snowflakes and put those around the card and I did grab a stamp from my stash this is a Kaiser Craft stamp and it is called let it snow and there's two sentiments that I use for this card kit um, because not that they aren't great sentiments, but there are a lot of the sentiments in the card or on the stamp set are, have the word gnome in them. And I kind of wanted this to be a little more elegant. And so I went ahead and grabbed that stamp set <clears throat> and a die from my stash and heat and boss that in metallic silver on a piece of vellum. And then took a piece of foam tape around the outside of that circle and that completes that card. For this next card, I'm using a craft look-alike piece of paper. I think it's actually a very light brown piece of paper. It's not actually craft, but it, it looks well enough like it. Um, I've gone ahead and taken the um, snowflake stamp, several of them, and embossed them or stamped them up using Versamark. Um, and I did a I made a huge mistake on this. My plan was originally to cover that in white embossing powder and I grabbed the wrong one because it looked white to me. Um, but it's actually a clear embossing powder. And so I was about to just not use the card at all and then I kind of thought about it and then figured that I'd go ahead and take the stamps and go back over the snowflakes I'm kind of turning them slightly so they're not centered exactly on the snowflakes but so they look a little bit layered and then I went ahead and took my white embossing powder this time and went put that back over the card and heat that up with my heat tool and I actually think it looks a lot better than what it would have if I had not used the um, clear first I really like the layered look and it looks I don't know. I just think it looks kind of cool. Um, so I was trying to figure out what kind of background to use. Um, what I ended up doing was placing the panel in my paper trimmer and just making kind of a diagonal cut. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some white acrylic paint and put that on my palette paper and spray it with some water just to get it a little bit thinner. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush which is usually just an old cheap paintbrush that I keep just to make splatters and splatter some of that paint on the card um, and then I take my tape runner and put a strip of adhesive at the diagonal of the craft piece and there's a mosquito in here and um take that red strip of paper and adhere that and here I am just trimming the side off and you might think that that would be a lot easier with scissors but for me it's not so <laughs> I always manage to make it crooked so I just trust the paper trimmer more than I do a pair of scissors in my hands um, so then I went ahead and just adhered that piece onto another piece of the brown cardstock. Um, I am using this Pink Fresh die set, Pink Fresh Studios die set. It says Joy and Cheer. And I took a piece of the pattern paper for the background and then white for the actual sentiment. 
Um, and I realized I'm not using stuff from the kit, but like I had <laughs> mentioned, there, there's only like two stamps that I can use without the gnomes. And so I this is what I chose to do since I will be sending these cards out. Um, I chose to grab some stuff from my stash. And I also added some of the Nouveau Bliz Blizzard <laughs> um, drops. And that completes that card. For this next card, I'm using my Versafine ink and I am taking the present stamps that are in the stamp set and I am stamping those up all along the bottom of the card. Um, this is a piece of a Bristol Smooth cardstock. I am using Versafine because I will be using my Zig brush markers and water and Versafine is a permanent ink which is waterproof. So um, I went ahead and created masks for several of the presents because I wanted to stamp up the tree to look like he is behind the presents. And so in order to do that, I needed to create the masks. Um, then I am gonna go ahead and take the other two gnomes, um, kind of like they're balancing on his head. So this other one's kind of crooked. And then I put one upside down so the one upside down is actually going to be an action wobbler. Um, I do color him even though he's covered by an action wobbler just because the wobbler moves and it looks a lot better if the image underneath is colored instead of just a black and white image. Um, I suppose I could have just put the wobbler without actually stamping, um, but I actually was gonna do both of the gnomes that are balancing as wobblers and I decided to just do the one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and color the image up uh, and I did stamp the upside down one that's gonna be the wobbler on a separate piece of paper and I fussy cut that out. And this is a completed colored image and the little fussy cut. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink up the gnome for the holidays, I believe, is the one I use. This is a Versifying Claire and Verdant, Verdant, uh, which is a nice green color. And this is a, a dye ink or a pigment ink, so it is a permanent. Um, and then I go ahead and attach that panel to my card base. Um, and though a lot of the card is white and you can't see the splatters very well. Um, you can see on the close-up pictures the um, kind of snow splatters on the image, which um, I like the way that that looks. So I went ahead and did that. And then here I am, I'm attaching the wobbler to the upside down guy. I just, that just cracks me up. It's a perfect card for a kid or a grown up that likes stuff that moves on cards. Um, so that will complete that card. For my next card, I'm gonna go ahead and heat and boss. And so I'm gonna prep that with my um, embossing bag. And I'm looking at this and I cannot even think of what I did on this card. So I'm taking, oh, okay, I remember now. So I'm taking a piece of watercolor paper and I went ahead and I stamped up all of my snowflakes and a few of the trees and I embossed that in white embossing powder. And I'm gonna give out, these are my pixie powders from Creative Expressions. And the colors for this are, um, let's see. The colors for this are midnight blue and white pearl. And so I'm just spreading that on my card. I really like the dark blue color and so I'm trying to get more of that rather than the purple. And so all I do is just keep working with it to get the effect that I want, um, adding more water, using my paintbrush at times to kind of uh, move that color around. I actually let this panel dry overnight. I did heat it a little bit with my heat tool and then I let it dry overnight. Um, and then I added some splatters. I added some paint splatters and this time I used my liquid water <laughs> oh my gosh i apologize i'm using my ph martin um i think it's the hydrus liquid watercolor and this is titanium white and so i create some splatters on the panel 
And then I let it dry overnight. So this is actually the next day when I assemble the card. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I take a piece of that six by six silver paper and heat emboss the word Christmas on it in white. And I don't know, you probably can't really, I can't really see the word um, as I'm looking at it, but hopefully you can see it. Um, and then I just uh, mounted that onto a the background in silver and then heat embossed the other sentiment wishing you a very happy in black or in white on black cardstock and I popped that up and that will complete that card. So the next or the last two cards I used the gnomes. Um, I'm just taking some of the scrap paper and I will go ahead and adhere that to my card panel. So I'm using these two pieces of pattern paper. I will go ahead and trim that up once I have it laid out on my card. And then I add a strip of the plaid, the red plaid to the left hand side. But here I am assembling my gnomes. Um, I used the backdrop die to make the both of these black. And then I used pieces of the pattern paper to um, create the uh, hat and the nose and the beard and the little I don't know if it's a kilt what do gnomes wear are they I don't know why I want to say it's a kilt but his little um skirt thing so there's several pieces to the die when you um, run it through your die cut machine so I'm going to assemble both of the gnomes and then uh, here I am adding that red strip to the card. And then I just go ahead and take my tape runner and adhere these two pieces. And I grabbed this sentiment. I've had it for probably about a month. Um, I was creating some other Christmas cards and I had it left over and it was just sitting there and it fit perfect. So I went ahead and used that, popped that up with some foam tape and that will complete that card. My dad will love this card. It's probably the one I'm going to send to him for Christmas. It's all about the beards. So for my last card, um, I'm just taking a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and stamping that up using VersaFine Claire in uh, Tulip Red. So I'm just taking several of the different sizes of the Snowflake stamps, uh, stamping that up. And I... I made this gnome an action wobbler, but I kind of messed up because what I did was I took the cardstock, the white cardstock in the kit, which is fairly heavy, and I created three layers of the um, kind of the shadow die for the gnome. Um, so it's fairly thick and heavy, um, and it doesn't, I mean, it wobbles, but it, it doesn't have as much action as the lighter wobbles. Um, so here I have my little gnome assembled. I used a piece of glitter cardstock for my stash for his beard. And then I added some glitter to his hat as well. Um, I went ahead and I heat embossed the Christmas sentiment in white. And then I'm filling that in with my alcohol markers. I, a red color and more of a kind of like a beach, beach, peach blushy color to give that ombre look again. And then the other sentiment is heat embossed in white. And it says, I'll be gnome for Christmas. And then I'm gonna take the action wobble and adhere that to my card. And he moves still. He's just a little wonky cause he's a little heavy for the wobbler, but I love the red and white. It just, um, so Christmassy. <laughs> See, <laughs> he kind of dances funny, but that's okay. He's cute. So here is a quick recap of all of the cards that were created using the December Assignment Says Stamp card kit, Gnome for the Holidays. I really, really enjoyed creating these cards. Um, I hope that these inspire you to make your own cards, whether it's with the Simon says card kit or not a lot of times watching videos you can get layout ideas kind of you know like Pinterest you can get layout, layout, layout. 
<laughs> it might be better for me to just stop now. Um, but it's uh, there's a lot of uh, great ideas out there is basically what I'm just trying to say. And regardless of whether you purchase a kit or you have the stamp set, um, there's always ways that you can kind of recreate something and make it your own um, without actually having the supplies to do so. Or the exact duplicate supplies is basically what I mean. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your watching my videos. Um, please feel free to leave a comment below which card was your favorite um, or any other comment. I really do enjoy reading those. And thank you so much for joining me. I will catch you next time.